Hello everyone, it's James Chamberlain, and today I'll be showing you guys how to fix this super annoying issue. It's like a Roblox network issue. I made videos in the past about it, and I have no idea exactly what it is. All I know is it is network related and prevents you from accessing Roblox. Roblox thinks you're a guest, automatically crashes if you're in the app, just all sorts of weird stuff. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix this if you are affected today in this video. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of footage of the actual issue so that you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so guys, here is a bit of one of my older videos that I made on the issue where I basically show how, um, how it affects you in one of the many ways. As you can see, here I am in my browser going to Roblox, and it just says not secure right here, and up here it just starts loading, and then eventually it goes to your connection is not private, and there's no way to basically stop this or anything. Here I am trying to open up the Windows 10 app for Roblox, and um, it just instantly crashes. There's no way to stop it. It just instantly crashes immediately, as you guys can see. It just instantly stops. The issue also prevents Roblox Studio from working, and if you're on mobile, it just simply infinitely loads or gives you an error saying your credentials are incorrect. So, I'm gonna go ahead and without further ado, show you guys how to actually fix this. Okay, so basically, in your browser, you're gonna actually need a VPN to do this. And a VPN is basically something that pretty much hides your data from other people and anything you go to, it basically prevents you from being able to be tracked and hides your IP. And it's just nice to have, even if you're, even if you don't need one to fix an issue. But the VPN we're going to be using is Proton VPN because it's free and we don't need anything fast. So we're just going to go to protonvpn.com. Links will be in the description for this. So here we are, and we basically want to hit Get Proton VPN now. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you some options on what you want. We're going to want the free version because, again, we don't need anything fancy. This is simply to fix an issue if you're affected. I have no idea what the issue is. All I know is the fact that a VPN fixes it means it's definitely network related in some way. And you're just going to need to actually enter your email and quickly make an account. No big deal there. I'm going to go ahead and punch in an email really, really fast. Email is in, get Proton VPN free. Now you need to verify, again, very simple. Just put in the same email right here that you did use. And then you're going to want to go to your email, get the verification code, copy it, and then paste it into right here. Hit send, and it will send the verification email. The email is on its way. I've gotten the code from the email. I'm just going to go ahead and click validate right here. We're going to get to choose a username. And password. Alright, so for the unknown, I just put James Chamberlain Tutorial. Obviously, if you were doing this, you'd want to put in a good username and password so that you would remember. We're going to go ahead and hit complete. Thank you for choosing Proton VPN. All we have to do now is download it. We're going to want to download for Windows. If you have a Mac, you'd want to download for Mac. ProtonVPN.exe. We're going to want to go ahead and open it up. This is completely legit. I'm not sponsored by Proton VPN or anything, but it's completely legit. It's not a virus. You want to go ahead and hit run. Now that we're into Proton VPN setup, we're going to want to hit next for the installation. Depending on where you want to put it, we're just going to install it right here in our main drive. Install. And it's going to go ahead and do the installation sequence. This shouldn't take any longer than a minute. Alright, so now the download should be done, and what you're going to want to do is on your desktop, you're going to want to go ahead and open up Proton VPN, and then you're going to want to go ahead and put in the username and password and log into the account that you just created. Log in. Log in now. It's going to make an offer up here to enjoy Plus for free. We don't want to do that. We honestly don't care. And what you're going to want to do now to fix it is you're going to want to go ahead and connect to the fastest. It's the fastest connection, and it doesn't seem to actually affect your internet very much at all. It doesn't really slow down your browsing or your experience on the internet at all that I can tell. Um, it's virtually unnoticeable, so um, it's just really good to do that. Some websites, things like Amazon, 
you may not like to use a VPN, and you may just want to go ahead and disconnect when it doesn't let you do something. And occasionally things might be a bit temperamental, where things are just running really slowly on your internet. Just disconnect and reconnect, and that should fix it. That doesn't happen too often. But, um, basically, it says it's a free trial here. When it expires, don't worry about that. Just, um, you don't need to buy it or anything. It just expires, and then, um, you might lose a couple features, like being able to connect to areas like this. You're gonna lose some of those features. But we honestly don't care. We're just using it to fix a simple issue. Alright, so guys, I hope this video helped you. And I hope that, um, if you did experience that issue, I hope that this has helped you resolve it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, and maybe even subscribe. Goodbye, everyone.